Hey guys, welcome back to the Shadow Drone. Um, I'm doing a quick video on a upgrade project that I'm doing, um, which is basically an upgrade uh, to reduce weight and to improve the appearance of the drone. Uh, what I have in front of you right now is my very first build that I ever built, which is a DJI flame wheel F550. Okay, and those of you are pretty much, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are familiar with this. This is an actual 100% DJI. Okay, it's got DJI NASA, IOSD, telemetry, everything built into it. Okay, um, everything all the way down to the frame is DJI, except for the motors. And the reason I didn't go with DJI motors is because the Merit motors seem to, the Garrett motors seem to be a lot uh, more reliable and they got a lot more power. So um, what I uh, what I wanted to do is, as you know from my X1 project, I uh, did the uh, the X1 Spider and I would I did a modification to it, which is the uh, 16 millimeter carbon adapters for the DJI frames. And so what I did is I decided I'm going to upgrade the DJI F550 with carbon fiber accessories. And that's to reduce the weight and uh, basically give it a better appearance. Uh, to me, the DJI frames are good. They're, they're sturdy, they're well made, but since they are well made and they're sturdy, they're heavy. Okay. So what I've done is I've already replaced the two main ones up front, okay? Which basically is using 330 millimeter, 16 millimeter carbon fiber rods, which fit in these adapters and then are attached to the existing frame. Now, if you look here, you can see the length and frame is almost four inches. So it makes the, the unit a lot larger and I'm going to be using a 12-inch prop instead of these 9-inch uh, props. I'm going to be reusing the motors uh, because, I, because I don't have six low-torque motors at the moment, but I am working on it. But if I do that, then I'm going to have to upgrade a lot more because I'm going to have to upgrade the motors, the ECMs to handle higher voltage because right now this thing is built to handle 11 volts per these motors. I know a lot of you say, yeah, that's not enough power for something that big. And you may be right, but I am going to just do an experiment here. I ordered these online uh, just recently, about a week and a half ago. And I ordered uh, actually uh, two, uh, two pairs of six. Okay? And the reason for that is because I'm looking to use these also on my X1. And as you can see, the surface on these props is huge, okay? If you look at the difference, okay? Um, from that, I'm hoping to get more thrust. Now I know by going with a bigger prop, the number one rule is to go with a lower torque motor. Um, I'm not gonna argue with that, but to test it right now to see if it's actually feasible, uh, I'm going to just put these props on here, run it for one flight, see how these motors handle if they get too hot or anything like that, then I'm going to go back to the originals, which are the smaller ones, which uh, are these. Um, but yeah, that's just on another note. Now these are going to be the ones I'm going to be putting on the X1, okay, for lift and also the motors that I match to them are 540s. So, uh, low torque, and um, these should be great. I got a really good deal on these puppies on eBay, I believe, and they were like on sale for like $10 a piece for a two pack. So, anyway, so as you can see here, um, by doing this, I'm reducing the weight of the frame. By removing these and putting these on, okay? Also, I removed the original landing gear that I bought for this, which was a plastic landing gear with the foam and all that stuff. You probably see a lot of it out there. Um, I removed those and put carbon fiber 
fix landing gear on there. I printed out a landing gear mount on my 3D printer to bring them out wide. And um, by just doing that alone, I'm reducing a lot of weight. Also, this right here, the canopy, which was something I printed out on my 3D printer, okay? I am going to mold this using vacuum molding to also reduce the, the weight of this by almost 70%, okay? Because when you 3D print, the stuff is kind of heavy, okay? Um, by doing that, I'm kind of hoping to get more than 20 minutes, so we'll see what happens. Uh, even at 20 minutes, if it stays the same, I'm, I'm okay with that, or if I only gain a little bit of um, flight time, because basically, I just use this one to do roof inspections, and I initially started doing that um, uh, when I first moved out here. Uh, I was up on the, uh, moved into the house, and I wanted to check the, the roof tiles because I could see a lot of my neighbors have broken tiles, and they didn't even know it. So I ended up uh, taking this bird up, and I flew low, low end uh, over my roof, taking pictures from the HD cameras that I got mounted front and rear downward. And I did notice that I had one cracked tile and one broken tile and one tile had slid uh, down, exposing the tar paper. So I was able to fix all that and save me quite a bit of money. So these things are worth it. And then some of my neighbors, that's when they first saw me fly these things. They're like, well, what are you doing? And of course I told them, I said, I'm doing a roof inspection because of this and that. And then next thing you know, all my neighbors wanted me to do roof inspections. Go figure, right? Anyway, um, <clears throat> which is fine. So, you know, they've been very understanding when I fly my drones up front, test flying mostly. Um, so they don't really have an issue with it. So I guess the old saying is, if, you know, it's good to be a good neighbor. Anyway, so uh, right now this is basically what I'm going to be doing today. I've already done two of the wheel, uh, two of the arms, and I'm, and I'm using steel screws to hold them down. So instead of having uh, six screws, one, two, three, four, five, six, I only have four by using a long one that goes all the way through to the bottom, and then the other one only goes a quarter of the way. So by doing so, I'm gaining the strength and uh, the durability, which is something I'm looking for. So, but yeah, so that's basically the project as it is right now. Um, I'll post the uh, outcome once I'm done. I'm still waiting for some parts. Uh, I've ordered uh, the uh, motor mounts. I only got three out of the six um, because the place I ordered the first three ran out. So I had to order th uh, three more from another vendor and they're stuck in the mail right now. And of course, uh, the motors are coming in for the uh, 580 kilo kVs that are coming in for the X1 Spider. Should be here tomorrow. And uh, I'll be able to get moving and get things done and start my uh, X1 Spider uh, uh, Pixhawk project. So I'll be keeping you guys informed on that. If you guys have any input or anything you'd like to add, I'd greatly appreciate it. All input is wanted and respected. So anyway, you guys be good, have a good day, stay safe, watch that coronavirus, and fly safe. All right guys, thanks for watching.